the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro my name. I run the game. What up everybody, Charles Macro here today back again, jumping back into Imperion Galactic Survival. Shout out to you and yours. Thank you for stopping through. Hope everything is going well with you in 2020. And happy new year, man. If we ain't spoke since the new year has dropped in, all right? It's been a good year so far. It's been a good year so far, man. Let me know in the comments how your new year has been, okay? So we're gonna pick up where we left off. In the last episode, we got to the point of the Robinson Protocol where we're building a hover vessel. Let me get some warmth. It's a little chilly out here. Now it's late night, it's uh, seven on the nighttime scale. You know how it is, you flip, it's like 10 or 12 hours in the day cycle and it flips. So we're at nighttime. I am gonna start building a vessel and you know, hopefully the, or not hopefully, the daylight will pop up and it'll get brighter, but I don't wanna waste this little nighttime. We at the point where the moon or wherever the light is illuminating from, it's kind of shining over. So we're getting a little bit of light. When it first hit, it's very, very dark. So yeah, that's what's up. So man, I did a little um, practicing or testing on the uh, HV. Well, actually, let me recap, let me recap. Um, so I built all the parts, as you see, we got the hover vessel started, the cockpit, the ground repulsor engines, and I'm just doing everything that the instructions, because the Robinson Protocol is just basically a tutorial that they, um, they ask us to do. I, I could do the HV straight out, and I'll do that after this. I'm re getting just reacclimated, but I, I know how to build an HV and things of that nature. Now, a lot of things have changed. A lot of things have changed. We know around what, Alpha 9 or Alpha 10, somebody can correct me in the comments, is when they started introducing volume and uh, weight, and then they also introduced logistics, and now we have the CPUs. So the CPU is, is new to me. I was keeping up with it, so I know that it was introduced, but I haven't actually used it in practice. All right, so we got the hub vest, starter cockpits, ground repulsors, uh, the generator, fuel tank. And the one thing they don't tell you to build, oddly enough, are the blocks. You see the checklist over there, none of it says the actual blocks. So you'll build those things, and then it says power vessel. So, uh, Elion, add craft blocks to <laughs> the, the list. And maybe give a number, because then you don't really know how many you should actually use with this uh, tutorial. Alright? <laughs> you can't do anything without the blocks. Um, I really need to craft, now that I think about it, some... Okay, it's not available yet. I'm going to have to unlock it. But the... Um, what are they called? The storage blocks that you can build now. That's a part of the uh, volume and logistics system. So... Just be, just be aware of that. If you're new and you're kind of jumping and you're following this, craft blocks, okay? And you see, man, these things be creeping, man. These alien insects, they be creeping. So make sure you got your shotgun ready. You always kind of got to be on the lookout in your area. Got to be on the lookout. Um, Now, one other thing I did, too. We're going to do this. We're going to install this. I, I went ahead and crafted a fridge. I don't know if they're going to tell me to do it in a later on... Um part of the Robinson Protocol, or maybe when they get to base building, but I went ahead and crafted a fridge so that when I do find, and actually even when I pluck this garden, but when I do find food, it's gonna actually uh, not spoil you, because right now it's all gonna spoil you. So let's go ahead and craft. Um, ah, Where can we put it? Now this is a part of the Imperial. That's one thing they still haven't done anything about, the square thing. There is, I won't call it a glitch, but you have to watch out for the squares because even when there's a short wall like this, it takes up a square and you can't put down a refrigerator. That was one of the first things I had to figure out in Imperion. And if you are here or if you ever looked at my top 10 uh, things video, it's a pretty popular video that I had made on um, things I discovered when I first started playing. That's one of the things. I was like, why can't I place this? You know, you're a newbie, why can't I place this block? So even right now, I really can't place this block. I have to just put it like dead center. So I'm gonna just stick the refrigerator for now on top of my core, dead center. It's a little weird, but whatever. And we'll go ahead and we'll move this natural sweetener in here. 
and it's actually cool because this is the uh, logistics system where you can actually what they did with logistics system is it's a system of kind of like a wireless system of actually moving inventory before we had to do everything manually you actually had to physically go to the container you had to go to the fridge you had to go to whatever storage you were using and you always had to transfer everything from your person and then there was no volume limit so they added this because I mean we are in the future we got spaceships but then I got to manually transfer everything like that is kind of whack juice so they did correct that or add this to it um it still could be refined a little bit I think most people have gotten used to it and it was okay I got used to it it's actually pretty decent but um as you know it, it could be refined a little bit still let me know in the comments what you think about it what you think about the logistics system um, and even the volume mass system but uh, that's one thing I skipped just for more of a uh, quality of life type of thing and that is adding a fridge and go ahead and installing that <laughs> all right so we have our first block and one thing you could do guys if you were, if you're concerned about your safety if you're new you could go in here you can hit F5 and the drone I hadn't used the drone yet so now we're in here we're in the safety of our uh little base look at your boy man your boy <laughs> look at you look at look at that dude look at that dude and you want to ever get rid of these huds f6 does that but look at you dude is nice the dude is nice so now we can sit in there and we can start our hv and again you can float up we can go high we can go low so we can really get a good look. I would like to actually put some blocks here, like some ground blocks, so that it would be more like a landing pad, but we ain't gonna worry about that. We ain't gonna worry about that. I'm trying to rotate this thing, but I guess you can't. So since we can't rotate because of the way we're standing, we're going to build it right here. All right, so that's our first block. The base starter blocks come with a core. So if you're building, don't start with a core. If you build a core, I made that mistake early on too. You can't build anything. Cores can be replaced, but you have to use a base starter block, all right? So what I did, I built like 20 of the carbon blocks, and then I also built um, 20 of the steel blocks. Now this is gonna be a very basic HV because I am still learning that, that CPU system and what I know of it, and again, somebody hit me in the comment box, but the CPU system is basically like kind of like a tier system so that you can't make, you know, vessels or, um, you know, it, it's kind of a governor type of way to regulate how people build. So they can't just build crazy big vessels and um, things of that nature. Again, it may be a better way of explaining it, but for now, uh, that is it. Okay, let me look at this block and make sure what this is. Okay, this is our small generator. And yeah, I went to creative. I did a little bit of practicing just to reacclimate myself. I was like, man, it, a lot has changed. And I had to remember a lot. Perion is a very complex game. So if you had not played in a while, there's a lot to forget. <laughs> there's a lot to forget, just like there's a lot to remember. <laughs> there's a lot to remember, basically, is what I'm saying. Uh, Okay, I'm going to have to come back out here. F5, let's get out of that. I gotta add this stuff back to my inventory. Um, as you can see, I also built a second constructor, a second portable, just so I can do food in this one. Because we are hungry. It seems like hunger goes down a lot quicker now too. I don't even remember hunger actually going down, down like that, unless you were like hurt or under certain circumstances. Man, do I hear another alien? I alien insects. All right, alien insects. Let me use my drone, see if I can find this alien insect. I'm trying to make a video here, alien insect. I'm trying to build my HV. Where are you at? All right, I don't see him, but I hear him. He pop up, he gonna get gunned down. Yeah. All right. But yeah, I've been playing a period for a long time. I went back and looked at like my alpha. Now see, there you go. I went back and looked at like my Alpha 8 or my Alpha 9. Like they will sneak up and attack you. They're somewhat passive. But yeah, it's like we're gonna have to deal with this even while we're building, guys. <laughs> Fun Imperion times. Um, okay, before we go back there, let me do this too, man. Let me do this. Let me pluck this so they can get back to growing. And we'll go ahead and put this in the fridge. 
And I sent a fridge. All right, cool, cool, cool. The way we can be growing our next cycle. But yeah, man, I discovered a Perion around, a Perion around Alpha 5. And um, it was either Alpha 6 or 7 that I actually started making content on it. 6 or 7. And like my Alpha 8. And you can go back and watch some of these series. If you want to see back in the day and even see how much has changed, go check out some of my past series. I think Alpha 9, I did almost like 100 episodes. I mean, I went to other planets, HVs, SVs, was making fleets, using other people's vessels. Oh, and if you're a vessel builder, let me put that in there as well. If you're a vessel builder, I'm going to use other people's vessels. If you hit right click, this is how you can choose your different shapes or in the case of your cockpit, which we're going to install, you can choose different cockpits. Um, I like this little airplane -y cockpit, so I'm going to go with this one. And again, this one's going to be very simplistic. It's going to be very simplistic. Uh, actually, let me put a couple more blocks here in front. I'm going to use these carbons for the inside. And I meant to go ahead and make the outside with these steels because I really want to protect it. Uh, and let's see. Let me go on and put these little hover jets down. Okay, and I'm going uh, to place this other one here. Uh, I actually kind of wanted to move them a little further but okay guys and a quick update too um actually just i took a little slight break in between this because um, i just had some family come down my sister and my nephew who is just started high school and then my twin niece and nephew who are in their terrible too so you might hear my little nephew he gonna be a gamer in the future too and my older nephew he's a gamer right now he's really really good i want to get him on get him on like call of duty or something like he's really nice i mean he ranks great his kill death ratio is awesome oh spider spider where did spider come from where did spider come from oh the spider tried to run up on me while i was talking about my family you gonna try to run up on me like that now nah, i'm killing everybody now nah, y'all can get it you can get it everybody can get it i'm trying to build my hv I can't believe that spider just spawned in like that. Man, it's, it's savage out here. Let me get my spoils. You run up on me. I got to get my spoils. I don't even know where these guys at. I, that spider tried to run. Oh, let me calm down. Let me calm down. All right, so let me change this cockpit. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. In fact, I'm gonna <laughs> let me run in here real quick, get a little cover. They ain't trying to run up on me. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the to the drone mode. Now, one thing to remember, because we don't have the multi-tool yet. Yeah, I don't like that one. Oh, actually I do. Because we don't have the multi-tool yet. There we go. Because we don't have the multi-tool yet, we actually can't um remove this one without it actually breaking it down into its pieces or into its parts you know instead of it just going straight back into your inventory so you got to take that into consideration and i will put some containers in here but again i really really meant to use these carbon fiber ones on the inner workings and i probably end up removing these and then use the steel on the outer so what I'm gonna do just to protect these jets, like I said, my first one gonna be more like a little truck. Just to protect my uh, hovers, my hover jets. We'll do it like this. And I know this is a little ugly, it's a little basic. And they add, oh, they added a ton of new blocks. Look at all these new blocks. Wow, there were not as many blocks at all. Basic shapes, all shapes, cues, round things, and they put them in categories. Really nice, really nice. So I do this just to give it a little bit of contour. And guys, if you're a builder, I was saying this earlier, if you're a builder, oh, where's our corner piece? Let me know, hit me in the comment box, or you can even come to the Discord. Oh yeah, that's kinda ugly. <laughs> that's kinda ugly, but we gonna roll with it for now. Because I plan to use other vessels. Again, I am not the quintessential 
builder. And even in my other series, I like to highlight other people's builds. So yes. I'm gonna have to make a few more blocks. So again, this is this is basic. We know we got some great builders in the community. Okay, that's all I got. Let me build a few more blocks. The sun is also coming up, so that's a good thing. Can't believe that spider tried to run up on me though. He tried to run up on me though. But we let him have it. Oh, I made a base starter. Oh, that must have been in the uh, in the little locker in there. Okay, so we'll make a few more steel blocks. I do like ten. That should be enough. I said when we get some multi tool, you can break your parts back down. I seem to always make my initial vessels almost like a like a truck. I must like trucks. And then again, we'll want to add. Let me check the tech tree. Let's look at our tech tree. And again, guys, give me any input. If you the things you think you see that I may be forgetting or things that I need to know as far as the new parts and pieces. Yeah, man, let me know. Let me know in the comments. That's like a better generator. These are the small ones. Some more improved. And I can actually unlock these. Definitely going to need this fridge. But I'm going to continue to just go through the Robinson Protocol. And if they don't tell me to do a fridge, then yeah, I'm going to do that next. Because you got to have a fridge. You got to have a fridge. That way we can travel. We're going to be a mobile base, but I did just use the refrigerator for now. Okay, we got spoiled food. So let me get these blocks. All right. And let's see. Uh, okay. That's kind of interesting. Make it like a little plane type of thing. Like a thang thang, plane plane. Let's flip this. I think that's right. There we go. So it's a little gap right here. I'll fill this in with some more blocks, but I really want to fill that in with more carbon blocks. Okay. Oh, so we got to get some fuel. We have to get some fuel. That's another reason. That's the reason why I may do even a third one, so that we can craft fuel. But I need fiber. Right now, I'll go ahead and do it in this one. I could have had this churning. Again, I'm trying to remember the things that I need. Right now, all we have is biofuel. That takes 10, and these are for one wood log. So we have enough to do maybe 30, 40. I can go chop some more wood. Now, there used to be a shotgun trick where you could shoot down trees. I don't know if that works anymore. Let's check and see. Y'all remember the shotgun trick? Oh, it works. It just takes a few more. Let me get this honey. We right by a honey joint. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Oops. Uh, I don't know what that crazy sound was. So yeah, we'll make sure we got more wood logs. I'll go ahead and use that. We'll put these in here so they can cook. I could do some natural stimulant. Look at all these. Man, imagine being on this alien planet. Okay. All right, so we're almost there. We just need to add some fuel. And this fuel is crafting mad slow. But what we'll do, I'm gonna take these two, since this one is about to finish crafting, and go ahead and put a little bit of fuel. It won't last long, but it'll last long enough that we can test out our vessel. Make sure that it runs. Come on, man, did y'all just see this thing go back? All right, it ain't be tripping. Okay, so this is our generator and our fuel tank. Let's go ahead and add that to the fuel tank. Blam, 7%. And let's see if we can start this thing up. Oh, wow, you can see the fuel now. So they did improve the hood. 
they've continued to improve quite a bit, but you're down in the right bottom corner. You see the hood. Now you can hit P. Wow. You can customize a lot of switches, signals, your devices, signal logic, CPU statistics. Okay, so these are the CPU stats. So you do start with your basic core. This is your second level, if I'm not mistaken, tier two. This is tier three where you'll need two of these, and this is tier four. Okay, 70,000. So again, I'm still learning that part of it, but you can hit me in the comment box and uh, just kind of help them inform me on some of this if you guys are more familiar. But it's gonna take some more learning how this works. And then these are your overall stats. And we can always see what resources we put into it. See how thrusts work. Oh, do I need some thrusters? I think those green hover ones already add some thrust, but I do need to add some thrusters so that we can propel left, right, up, and down. Well, not really up and down for the HV, but left and right, uh, forward and backward. All right, we don't need oxygen right now, Pentaxa for the boost. So you can power up right here, or you can hit Y if I'm not mistaken. Bam! Congratulations, Commander. You have successfully completed the chapter Vessels of the Robinson Protocol. Yes, sir. Oh, and look at the new HUD. Wow. Okay, confirm the mission. Okay, basic building. Let's go. Oh, this thing moved. Oh, look at that speed. You know what? I think the max speeds went up too. And again, correct me in the comments, but I believe the max speeds improved there used to be a uh, a cap on the hvs and also the sv because it couldn't render fast enough if i'm not mistaken but yes yes let me hit v let's look at this joint from the outside now turning capabilities aren't great but yes yes wow this hood is new to me it's the first time i've really got to look at this hood okay mine or so they yeah there's a difference i can tell the difference is faster i think the mobility is going to be different i want to see this spider's nest since they can't get to me well they can't attack your vessel now but i believe these spider's nests are just spawn points if i'm not mistaken and you can blow them up Ooh, i want to do that i'm gonna say that for another episode we'll say that for another episode but yeah, the HV, I can tell at the gate that this is much faster. And again, it it, it was kind of slow paced to a certain degree. So it's speeding up does help. I can't wait to get to an SV to see if that's faster as well. And you can really see that difference. But yeah, this is a big difference. Um, now, one thing you can do if you press Alt, you can change your view. You can scroll with your wheel. So we can see a little further out. Uh, space bar elevates. C takes you back down. Okay. Now I do know that these green thrusters don't go over water. So you gotta be careful of that or you will sink. But when we get the regular thrusters, we can go over the water. Yes, yeah, see, check us out. Check out our little truck joint here. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at your boy in there. You see him? You see him? I believe you can go up and down too with page up, page down. Yep. Yeah. There we go. It's all coming back to me. It's all coming back to me. All right. So yeah, the turning isn't great, but yeah, we're we're gonna adjust that. Don't get don't worry. We're gonna adjust that. So I gotta find some ores. So um, I either do that off camera or I just do that in the next episode. Let me know in the comment box. Um, I can include that in the next episode going to find these ores because I believe it's going to start prompting us to build our base. Let me go to the. OK, because they have basic building. Yeah, not really sure what it all entails. We'll find out. We'll find out. Oh, look at dude like the hairstyle. Yeah, we'll find out. But right now. We need to find these iron ore, copper ore, silicone ore. You can find this shallow water. Now this is weird too. They still need to kind of map out this Robinson Protocol in this tutorial because in the previous, um, in one of these previous missions, I had to go mine out the ore. Then I had to go mine out the ore. You know, actual mine out deposits. 
and now they got you just looking for 10 or like this should have been what you did first but anyway 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 we'll talk about that later so again what i also do since this is my starter i need to do a more few more blocks since this is my starter hv i'll also um you know we'll continue to upgrade it and evolve it and if you have a good hv you know let me know and um i'll include it look at your boy look at your boy hold on let me let me look at me it's a good little screenshot yeah yeah, yeah, y'all know how we do. Y'all know how we do. All right. So actually, let me add this before we get out of here. And we'll finish up, guys. Again, it feels good. Hadn't built like this in a while. So let's add that. And we'll go to right there. And let's make sure that all is good and yeah i cover this in some too as well all right guys so i'm gonna go and wrap it up right there let me bring this one down we're gonna go in and park it we got us an hv and i'm glad they did bump up when you find or when you build the hv so you don't have to wait because it's very important to get this hv and be able to move around the planet so we'll do some exploring we'll find these ores in the next one but we'll also explore some of this map and see what's around here all right all right, guys, Charles Macro, Imperion Galactic Survival. We got our first HV. Again, hit me in that comment box, guys. Let me know what you think, and let me know any tips with, um, you know, what has changed and building uh, the HVs and the vessels in general. All right, guys? Charles Macro, Imperion Galactic Survival. Thank you for stopping through, and I'm going to holler at you. Peace. I run the game, I run the game, I run the, I run the macro my name, I run the game.